I'm Roger with Synthesizers.com and here's what you need to know about a signal's amplitude and polarity. Every signal has an amplitude. For audio signals, amplitude is just another way of saying volume. When we turn up the volume on our radio, we're increasing the signal's amplitude. In a modular synthesizer, we have complete control over a signal's amplitude either manually with an attenuator knob or through voltage control using a Q108 amplifier. The outputs of the Q106 oscillator are full 10 volt signals. This is typical of Synthesizers.com designs. The signal source is always full strength and it's up to the destination to adjust the desired level. A mixer like this Q113 is typically used to combine and attenuate oscillator waveforms. Attenuate is just a fancy word for turn down and amplify simply means to turn up. The amplitude of an audio signal corresponds to its volume, but the amplitude of a control voltage signal corresponds to how much effect it has on a parameter. Here's an envelope controlling the filter at full force. Now I'll attenuate the envelope and you can hear that the effect on the filter is reduced. The filter module has a built-in attenuator to make this easy. We've talked about a signal's amplitude, now let's talk about its polarity. Here's the envelope controlling a filter again. We can adjust the amplitude with the input attenuator knob, but notice this knob has a zero in the middle and minus numbers on the left. This is called a reversible attenuator or an invertible attenuator, and this lets us control the amplitude and the polarity of the control voltage signal. Inverting the polarity of a control voltage signal changes the results dramatically and you can see the envelope going to zero, then being inverted completely. Many modules have built-in attenuators or invertible attenuators. Here's a Q150 filter. It has one of each. And here's the attenuator on the Q108 amplifier for its voltage control. This might make you wonder what an audio signal sounds like when it's inverted. But surprise, inverting an audio signal doesn't make it sound any different. Where the magic happens is when we invert control voltage signals. If you need to attenuate or invert a signal, but don't have a way to do it right on the module, use the Q125 signal processor. It has two sections. The top section lets you adjust the amplitude and polarity with the gain knob, and it lets you add an offset voltage. Notice the gain knob goes minus to invert the signal, and also notice it goes to 200%. This lets us amplify the signal. The bottom section is a simplified version of the top section, with just a switch for inverting and an offset knob. Let's patch an oscillator waveform through the Q125 signal processor and see what it does to the signal. This output goes to our scope. With the gain knob set at zero, we see no signal. This level here is ground, zero volts. Adjusting the gain knob makes the signal grow. At 100%, we get exactly the same as what's coming in. This line here is five volts. So this signal is 10 volts peak to peak. This is what comes out of an oscillator. But we can turn the gain up and down from there. All the way up to double the original amplitude. Now we're at 20 volts peak to peak. If we go minus, the signal inverts, and we also get to control the gain while it's inverted. Now for offset. Offset just adds or subtracts a steady voltage. For example, let's say we want to make a gate signal out of this audio signal. The gate signals go from 0 to 5 volts, but our oscillator is giving us minus 5 to plus 5. With a combination of gain and offset, we can get exactly what we want. Controlling amplitude and polarity of signals is the main thing you're doing when you're turning knobs on a modular synthesizer. Like everything else in a modular synthesizer, the way to learn is to experiment and have fun.